Okay, guys, so we have made it to Cathedral at St. George, and I gotta say, it is absolutely amazing. This is beautiful. Just want to give you guys a little, little view of what I see. Using a GoPro, um, pretty sure it doesn't do any justice, but I will say it is absolutely at this little gazebo and walk down so let's keep going let's keep going and enjoy the video Wow, I gotta say guys, this is really cool. And I, this this isn't a place that we decided to stop. We actually on the way to St. George um, National Park, but we've decided to kind of pull over because how could you not want to stop and see the cathedral I mean, of any park? And so I've never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, it's really cool. I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscription bell so that you know you could be notified whenever we're doing cool videos like this. And I gotta say, you know, I don't really know what's native to this area or like animal wise or wildlife, but it is amazing, guys. And so I hope that again you are enjoying this video as much as I am because it is very cool. And so we're going to keep going because this isn't our stop. But you can hike all the way down to the bottom if you want to. There are trails, steps, uh, no off-road vehicles, which is it seems to be the thing around here in this area. If you have an ATV of any kind, uh, any off-road vehicle, then you probably could enjoy much more than what you could see in a car or a vehicle, off-road truck or something like that, which even then still probably wouldn't do you justice but this is amazing guys and i hope that again you guys are inspired to travel and just get out and see and do because exploring this is absolutely wonderful and i'm loving it i am absolutely loving it and this is stunning this is a stunning view so again guys we're going to stop the video and move on to the next scene and I hope you like it. I hope you love it because this is amazing. This is absolutely gorgeous. Especially over here in this area right here. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I love it. Let's keep going. So we have made it to today's adventure and today's food plate is coming from Dickie's Barbecue Pits. Um, so far we've tried everything and it is pretty, pretty delicious. I got the pulled chicken, coleslaw, baked beans, and I guess this type of roll comes with it. And my honey here has the mac and cheese, potato salad, and she also has the pulled chicken because we kind of like chicken. So, 
If you guys are ever in St. George, which this place is located, make sure you stop in and check them out. And we gave them a pretty good review because it is amazing. So, hope you guys are enjoying the video and let's continue. Okay guys, so we are here at Chuckwalla Trailhead here in Utah, you know what I'm saying? Just somewhere I wanted to kind of stop and give you guys a little tour around because I think that it is amazing, okay? I've been through Utah before, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to come back and visit. And now that we have that time, we're going to just stop through here and take a couple of, you know, little visits around some of this beautiful, beautiful atmosphere, guys. So, if you ever stop by this spot, um, I think we traveled 20 north to get here from, I think it was 93, don't quote me on that, leaving from Ely, Nevada, which is about maybe three and a half hours or so from here. But, just wanted to say guys, always make sure when you visit a place like this, check in with the park map to kind of see where you're going and where you're headed so you can kind of get familiar with staying on trails that are very visible okay don't go off the trail guys that's if you stop like us and just spontaneously take a trail so let's go all right guys so we are on the trail, and this is the low zone at Chiquala. You can ride your horses, hike, bike, ride right here, guys. Keep your pets on your leashes. All right, guys, let's go down. Got a few people down here. We're just gonna casually walk. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Yeah. How you doing? It is absolutely amazing out here, guys. It's a little windy, but maybe about 80 degrees or so. So it feels phenomenal. Perfect day. I have on shorts and a hoodie. As you guys can't tell, maybe a little overdress for the area. <laughs> But either way, guys, it's still amazing. So we're gonna keep going down, check it out. So far, it don't really look that bad. Looks like a great place to just come out and do any type of outdoors activities. And I think that's wonderful. You can even rock climb over here too, which looks like that's what these guys were doing. So guys, if you are where I'm from, which is South Georgia, and if you're not used to sceneries like this, and if you don't know anything about surviving and what you need to have or bring when you visit a place like this, always check out these signs, okay? I stretched that in my last video on Joshua Tree. They are there for a reason. Okay. Just keep going, guys. My watch is telling me that I am on time. My moving goal is up. Love that little cave area right there. That is beautiful, guys. We might have to stop and take a couple pictures. So 
so yeah coming down don't seem too bad i would definitely say i'm overdressed uh for this type of activity but it feels phenomenal out here so i guess we're good but i definitely wouldn't mind taking a little step over here because why not right why not you gotta live Beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you have on your hiking boots. See my baby down bottom. I am wearing my LeBron James. <laughs> so again, maybe not the best idea that I've come up with. Now, I will say that is quite a little incline right there. And now that we are up here, let's just look. Again, guys, we are in Utah. Wow, look at this. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And it's another reason why I kind of like to try things, new things. This is all new to me. I traveled before seen a lot of a lot of land like this but never really just stopped to admire it and just soak it all in because this is absolutely breathtaking man just living in the hills like this, this is absolutely crazy i just love that part right there also there's a neighborhood right here and actually on the other side of the mountain too as well it is a neighborhood right there, but this is probably by far the most spectacular scene in the city that they built that I've seen. So, Erica loves taking her picture, guys. She is really, really into photography. And I must say, she is absolutely very, very, very good at it. So, whenever she wants me to, you know, be in her photo shoot, don't mind I definitely don't mind because I know the work is gonna be phenomenal okay guys we're gonna keep going we're gonna go back down where we came from which is did I come right here I don't even know which one I came up wow did I come over there oh, yeah, I think I did I don't know I'm seeing my rises y'all oh, It's a little steeper, but we could do it. We could definitely do it. Let's keep it active for sure. Oh my goodness. I mean, it goes straight up, guys. That was cool. That was very, very, very cool. And I understand, guys, that some things that may be cool to me may not be cool to you. Uh, but. I don't know what's cool to me unless I get out here and try or see it or experience it and witness it. And that's really what I'm doing right here. So I've never been here. Um, just a little ways up the road from here is even more beautiful shots and just amazing, amazing views, man. And so I would like to say that that is something that I want to do. Hopefully we can stop by there. Uh, Snow Cave, I think it is Snow Cave Lake. Um, and I think this one is Chukwala instead of Chukwala, like I said earlier. But um, it's definitely a good trail to come and, you know, kind of walk, exercise. We keep going down, and I can tell you right now, it's really not that bad, you know. As you guys can tell, I'm kind of just plowing down. You know, but it's very easy to kind of come and see <laughs> all of this. Even walking back up, I don't suspect that it'll be tiring, but if so, uh, that'll be my exercise for the day, right? Because we want to live healthy. We want to be active out here. 
We want to see this world. We want to experience this world in a way that we never have before. So that's why we just stopped. We didn't know we were going to stop here, but we just, why not? <laughs> why not? So just take it all in, guys. Look at that valley out there. That is awesome. And I know with me kind of moving and kind of walking down from up top right here it may seem a little speedy, but it's, it really is a lot of color out here uh, in the desert, what they call, but it's beautiful. I've seen pink roses and cactuses right up the way right here, but we saw those in Joshua Tree. Uh, if you guys want to go check out that video. Also, Erica was taking pictures of some different uh, vegetation here also and i can tell you man it begs the question is it dead or is it alive that is the question so i can tell you right now it's definitely very much alive guys and it's wonderful too again we did not know we were going to come here but we just kind of stopped and i and i and i think that's the most um spontaneous thing about stopping and trying new things you know what i mean because i've never been here before have you been here before no and there um it is gorgeous but we just hiked down so i'm nervous about to go back up now i done told y'all all that about <laughs> it was easy and now she come it's up always there. easy coming down yeah it really is guys it really is but it's usually when you come down we haven't been on very many that we Descending down, usually you climb it up to go see the view. But all of this is the view. And it's pretty, pretty amazing, you know. Again, which brings me back to my original point. How do you know that you like something? Like my cool and your cool may be different things and we may have different views and things like that. But I will say, how do you know that you wouldn't enjoy being out in the middle of somewhere seeing things like this? The world that we live in and not love it or experience it or even want to vlog about it like we're doing now to show you guys because <laughs> i think it's amazing this is god's country for sure you know so um again man soak it all in beautiful sun red colors green everywhere blue purple you can see it everywhere even in the birds like they all different the tucson so we got down here. <laughs> There's another trail we can take to go to the side back of the trail. Okay, so you know where well, she's finding out that information. We got down here and let's see let's see if we can go back up or even go around a different way. Even though we started, way over there where those people are. We went down, over, and back up. And up. As you guys saw, she led the way with these spontaneous turns. <laughs> Do you want to go here? Let's take this one. Let's go to the edge. Well, it was very worth it to go to the edge. And we made it, guys. So don't ever say or think that you can't do something just put your mind to it and do it 